Regaining muscle strength following knee surgery significantly impacts your overall outcomes. Whether it's a total knee replacement, ACL reconstruction, or meniscus repair, these surgeries can take a toll on your muscles, which can slow your recovery. And despite all of the exercises you do, many people continue to struggle with persistent muscle weakness, leaving both therapists and patients scratching their heads and frustrated. But here's the thing, there's a legitimate reason behind this ongoing weakness, and simply exercising may not get you the results you want, and understanding the root cause of the weakness is key for a successful recovery. So in this video, we'll explore the underlying factors contributing to persistent muscle weakness after knee surgery and introduce a game-changing rehabilitation tool that is affordable and easy to use, making it a must-have for anyone undergoing knee surgery. And stick around until the end where I'll show you how to utilize this device at home. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Physio Show where we answer all of your rehab related questions. The early recovery phase after knee surgery is a crucial time in your rehab. This is the time where you focus on managing your pain and swelling, restoring knee mobility, and preventing deconditioning of the surrounding muscles. And while during this early phase of recovery, you won't be able to perform intensive exercises, this does not mean you cannot make meaningful progress in your muscle function. This is the perfect time to begin restoring your muscle's ability to contract, because if you had knee surgery, you likely experienced issues early on contracting your quadriceps muscle, that muscle located right on your thigh. And no matter how hard you tried, that thing just wouldn't do what you wanted. But why is this? Well, when a joint experiences trauma, such as an injury or surgery, it can disrupt the normal functioning of the muscles surrounding that joint. This disruption occurs due to a complex interplay of factors, including changes of the nervous system, altered muscle activation patterns, and inflammation within the joint itself. As a result, the affected muscles may struggle to contract efficiently, leading to weakness and decreased function. This phenomenon is known as arthrogenic muscle inhibition and can significantly slow your rehabilitation efforts and contribute to persistent muscle weakness after surgery. Understanding this concept is crucial to developing targeted interventions to address muscle weakness and optimize recovery outcomes. But how do you address arthrogenic muscle inhibition? Well, luckily, there's a cheap and easy-to-use device available that can complement your existing rehabilitation exercises and expedite the recovery of your muscle function. This device is known as Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation, or NMES. NMES involves the application of electrical currents to specific muscles or muscle groups using adhesive electrodes placed on the skin. These electrical impulses mimic the body's natural signals, causing the muscles to contract and relax, similar to how they would during voluntary exercise. By stimulating the muscles directly, NMES can help prevent muscle atrophy and enhance muscle coordination and force production, all of which are vital for effective rehabilitation early after knee surgery. NMES is incredibly easy to use, requiring minimal setup. Incorporating electrical stimulation into a comprehensive rehabilitation program that includes other treatments such as manual therapy, exercise, and education can significantly accelerate your recovery and enhance your outcomes after knee surgery. Now I want to quickly distinguish NMES from TENS devices, which is another electrotherapy device that people are more familiar with but is not the same. While both NMES and TENS devices use electrical stimulation, they serve different purposes. NMES devices focus on restoring muscles' ability to contract, while TENS devices are primarily used for pain relief. So if your goal is to address muscle weakness and enhance muscle contraction, make sure the device you are buying has the NMES function. I have provided a link to both devices in the description, so check these out. While electrical stimulation can offer significant benefits in post-surgical rehabilitation, it's essential to ensure proper application. I suggest not utilizing this device until you consult with your physical therapist who is familiar with electrical stimulation protocols so they can better tailor treatment to your individual needs and monitor your progress throughout the recovery process. Curious about how to set up the NMES device at home? Well, check out this next video where I'll guide you through a process of setting up the device and positioning your body to maximize maximize the effectiveness of the treatment. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Physio Show. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about your body, how it works, and what it needs to keep moving.